presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys just come up in. Uh, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're up five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, folks. It's a TGIF. Let's make it a great one. To begin, a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key in a lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 72 after hitting all time highs. NASDAQ down a buck 30. SP's off six and a half. Gold contract up $11.50, trading out at $17.93 an ounce. We have silver. Up 19 cents, trading out at $24.36 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 30, $83.81 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up five ticks, trading 130.11. The 30 year up 17 at 158.09 and King Dollar. King Dollar up to, uh, down uh, 110, 110 ticks, 93.661. Euro is at 116. The yen is at 113.47. And the British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So if we take a look at the SPY, folks, we tested the all-time high. You're off it slightly. Uh, bottom line, you know, my take is that we're going to the lower end of this consolidation. Right now, the SPY hit 454.67 today. Uh, the bottom of this consolidation is uh, 4. 26. So you're talking about some big numbers here. Uh, we got all the way up there. He had a contraction all the way up. We need to get that done. Bottom line, lower prices coming at you. Dow Industrial. So let's just see if the Dow is still over its highs. The Dow, the Dow had juice out here, man. So the Dow, let's see. So the high it was going after was 631. Yeah, it is. It's at 681. So let's see what happens here, man. The, the Dow closes at highs. That's going to be interesting that you'll have some divergence because if it closes at highs, you can go to higher price. The, uh, oh, the cues. I didn't do the cues. Okay, the cues are a whole different animal. These babies have, have rolled, okay? So what you have with the cues, you're down 317 right now. Uh, you have already got an expansion of volume as, you, as you're basically making the turn. So I expect what you're going to see here is that we right now are at the 374.05. We hit 372.38 intraday out here. Let's just go see how the NQs are actually set up here. So you had some nice volatility out here today, no doubt. We're down 136 in the NQs. The low, we're at 341. I'm just giving the last three numbers, folks, okay? So we do enough numbers around here that you can get confused pretty quick. Not confused, but if you're in the car, you hear all these freaking old numbers, and it's insane. Okay, so we're down 140 bucks right now. You're at 338. The low is 273. Um, you know, we'll see whether it's going to get tested. It doesn't have to get tested today. You know, it does have high volume down there, so it very well could get tested, but it doesn't have to. That being said, what we do have is that if we go over to the queues, what you're going to see is that you already have an expansion of volume. So the bottom line, which you get the expansion of volume and you're going downtown, that's giving you the probability that lower prices more than likely are coming at us. Gold. Gold contract had quite a ride out here today. So look at this intraday, folks. Okay, this is a trip, man. So intraday, we had gold 
uh, explode topside to 1815. We've done 300,000 contracts. And intraday, Powell comes out and says, hey, listen, man, yeah, you know, we, we are definitely going to taper. Nothing has changed, but the bottom line, once you start talking tapering, you saw gold go from a price point of 1815 down to 1783 in about a heartbeat. <laughs> and it came all the way back. The bottom line is it's already taken its B point out, taking it out with volume, higher price coming at you. The GDX, ABC structure up, confirmed ABC structure up, took out its B point. Took it out with volume. GDX is up 30 cents right now, trading 33.04. That G, that GDX, the ABC structure in the way up is 35.98. You look at um, there's a, there's a lot of ABCs up here. I'll go through a few of them. Um, Anglo Ashanti, Anglo Gold rather. Uh, that uh, also took out the B point. The B point there had uh, oh hold it. All right, we uh, we need six, 60 thousand more shares. We'll get that. 2.9 million. Bottom line, blew away the. Uh, B point did it with volume. That's trade 1953. The ABC structure is uh, 2257. Goldfields GFI also did it. There's, there's a lot of them that did it. There's no two, no two ways about that. Um, that Goldfields. Let's see how many vo much volume we needed. We need. I like it. We needed 5.3 million. We have 5.3 million. That means we're going to do more. With gold fields, uh, you're at 969. The A to B equals to C to D is 1135. So we get some pretty cool action out here. What we will do after the close tonight, 8 o'clock tonight, you get the volume on the XAU and the HUI, and I expect both of them are going to have the volume because all these other equities have the volume. So what I expect we're going to see is that they are all in ABC structures on the way up. That's that's. It's a nice number. There's no doubt about it. Some of the higher volume equities we have out here today. Uh, oh, look at this. That's the, uh, when is the last, oh no. I was, <laughs> you know, it's so funny, folks. So picture, if you're watching Tiger TV, as I brought this up, they're all the gold stocks. I'm saying to myself, hold them in. Is that the most, I, I have a couple different buttons that I can hit. And I thought I had hit the button for, the highest volume in all the stock. What I did is hit the highest volume in the XAU. <laughs> so let me just change this because I'm saying to myself, man, all these gold stocks are flying. So now we'll go to the S&P. So inside the S&P, you got Intel down six and a half dollars. Facebook's off 19. You get uh, Tesla up 11 bucks. We have, uh, let's see, Applied Materials up 319. eBay's up 437. Uh, there's some action out here, man. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. Strength eBay is up 5.5%, AMAT 2.5%, CLAC 2.3%, and Pindoa do up 1.9%. Taken away from it, Intel. Intel's the big mover. Downtown, down 11.5%, Facebook 5.5%, Mercado Libre 4.5%, Moderna 4.3%. So we get some numbers out here. There's no two ways about it. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 78. You get the Nasdaq down 128. S&Ps are off six and a half. Let's go to uh, bingo. Let's go to Joe in Colorado. Joe, what's going on, brother? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Pretty good, thanks. So Just, what would you like uh, to look at, at today? EWG for a short. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So this is the uh, German DAX, I believe. Uh, exchange traded fund EWG. Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, so it's the biggest holdings inside the DAX. If you take a look at it, you're going to see it's SAP, Siemens, Alliance, Daimler Chrysler, BASF, Deutsche Color Telecom, Deutsche Post. So let's go over first because this was interesting this morning. Trust me, because I always look at the DAX in the morning, folks. Okay, and you know, bottom line is that you know, I I, I like trading every day and that you know the when I'm looking at the DAX this morning I'm, I'm selling shot the NDX 100 you know but the DAX was up and the DAX was up pretty good man <laughs> um, you know but the bottom line it couldn't hold price you know this is what ends up happening I don't have I don't get this volume until later let me put this on a weekly because it took a little swing point out but then it, it failed on price let me just pull this on a weekly Okay, so, damn, this has been just laying up here forever, man. <laughs> well, the the DAX has volume at the lows of uh, we're at fifteen. DAX is at fifteen thousand five forty-two. The lows four, fourteen thousand eight eighteen. That's where it looks like it wants to go. But let me do this. Let me pull up the exact EWG, and I'll do it this way. Is there some reason that you? I mean, besides making money, <laughs> uh, that you're going short the DAX. Tell me what you see. Uh, on a recommendation. On a recommendation, I see. Okay. There's a lot easier shots in the marketplace. That's why I'm asking. Um, so. This is a January put. A January put. Okay. Um, yeah, do it. You know, because you get, with the EWG, you get. Uh, we got a low at 32 that has volume. You get a low at 25 that has volume. So, you know, you're at 33, man. You know, if this, could, if this breaks down, if the markets break down, it will go to 25 bucks. 25.84, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, man. Thanks. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. 877-927-6648. Check this out, folks. This is a trip. So, the, there, was a, there was a guy on Bloomberg, uh, I think I talked about this a couple of days ago. He was really good, man. And what it was about 
was, and this was a commercial real estate guy. This was what's so impressive to me in general, actually. Um, and what he was talking about, you know, that commercial real estate, office buildings in general, okay, the bottom line is that we haven't seen the beginning of office buildings having a hard time, okay? And he didn't think that the uh, low, meaning the nice deals that are inside office buildings, wouldn't come for a couple years. And the way he had laid it out was really cool. I mean, it, it was very common sense way. I, I really I think anyone listened to it understood it. And I think he's right. And then look at this, man. This is pretty. So Exxon Mobil, um, if you've ever been to Houston, folks, okay, uh, the bottom line is that, you know, that's oil country in a, an incredible way. And Exxon plans to close two office towers, two, one, two, okay, um, after the amount of job cuts, employee departures, the last year and a half. This is a monster number, folks, okay? Workers in the suburban office buildings known as the Hughes Landing in Woodland, Texas, will relocate to the oil giant's main Houston area campus a few miles away. The closure is the latest turn in the Exxon's uh, CEO, uh, Darren Woods, to recast what was once the most profitable U.S. corporation after back-to-back -back oil bust. Uh, bottom line, it's a heads up, folks, okay? Uh, you know, there's no doubt that office space is going to be around. We're going to need it forever. Uh, but, you know, I suspect it's going to be about 30% less, 40% less than we actually needed. Uh, because it's, it's just all changing. There's some great articles, man, about um, how they're changing office space. Uh, in fact, it's either, uh, let's see, no, it's the New York Times a couple days ago in the business section. I uh, had a couple different companies how they're changing office space, uh, how they're making it so when people do come to the office, they're much more comfortable, having a good time. One big, bigger company, so check this out. I don't know how they get any work done, but one bigger company actually made a bakery inside the office also, right? Could you imagine, man, that you're sitting there working, yet they're baking anything. I mean, we all, uh, uh, you know, forget it, man. We'll be all over it, right? Give me a chocolate chip cookie. Give me a brownie. I'll get some work done. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be a lot of different dynamics that, that absolutely take place. So let's go take a look at uh, a few. Well, actually, Snap. We got to go to Snap first. So Snap come out with numbers last night, folks. Snap's down 20%. It's down $19.50, uh, trading 55 bucks. It's a, it's a big number. And they... Bottom line, I mean, you, you talk about, well, here, here, here's, a, here's a beauty that you see. You go higher, you don't have any volume. Last time Snap had any volume is $43. So that's telling me it's going on at $43. That's how these things work, by the way, once they crack. So that would be a, yeah, that'd be 50% haircut, you know? And what this was all about was they're saying that when Apple had changed its uh, iOS system, uh, the bottom line is that they can't track um, as much, and so targeting ads is a lot harder. That's that's the well, they'll end up doing it, okay? But they can't do it on the back of Apple customers. That's what it really comes down to. You see Facebook here. Now it's going to be interesting. Facebook looks to me like it's going to be an ABC down. Now if this is an ABC down, so check this out. Well, let me see this. Okay, what you have is that. Oh, it's going to be awesome, man. Facebook comes out with their numbers. Uh, the 25th, so we're talking uh, Monday. Oh man, this is cool. This is, we're talk we're talking Monday um, at after the market closes. Now watch this, okay? Is that this baby right here? If this is an ABC down, it's going to be a monster. It's the A points 384. Oh man, yeah. Well, it's not that bad. Okay, 60, 60, 67 dollars which would uh, get you about 270. And right now you're at 322, so let's see what's there. 270. There's 286. Yeah, 286 is the breakout area, man. Three, I guess, yeah, 250, 280. That's my, I, I suspect what we're gonna see here, you're gonna see Facebook is gonna get, the numbers are not gonna be, um, what the market is looking for right now. And Facebook is way off its highs, by the way. Uh, they are going to be looking to bring to the top line $29.4 to the bottom line $3.17.
Um, they're still growing uh, by a large amount, man. They're growing by 9% in the U.S., 9% in Europe, uh, 11, 12%, 12 in Asia, and 9% uh, in the rest of the world. So they are growing, but guess what? They're not going to be growing on the backs of um, the iPhone users. And that's what you, you've, you've heard those other ads about. If you're an iPhone, we protect your privacy. That's what that's all about, folks. Okay, the bottom line is we're still going to have Google follow us around. We'll see if they can figure that one out. Dow Industrials up 62, NASDAQ down 132, S&P's up 7.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 76. You get the NASDAQ down 131. S&Ps are uh, down uh, five and a half. And uh, we got to check this out, folks, because this is like pretty wild. OK, so this is digital world. OK, this is if you thought that Facebook, I mean, a GameStop uh, was it was a beauty. This one is absolutely amazing. OK, and what it is. So it, this is a spark. OK, this spark turned around and said that it's going to buy. Uh, well, it's going to do business with uh, Trump's new media company, which is Truth. And the way these sparks work. So I just want to walk you through this just for a second so you can see how this uh, to, to understand that. We right now, no doubt, to me, when you're trading, you got to really understand that you're in a probability game, number one, um, and you're not throwing the dice. This, this here is so amazing, it's unbelievable. But guess what? After 
Facebook, I mean, after GameStop, AMC, all of this, the bottom line is that there are people out there, they'll buy and sell, they'll do the whole bottle of wax, for folks, okay? Um, but check it out, man, because I just want to walk you through how this works. And then I want to show you just how much money that one, one fund has already made. And they're claiming they made a slight profit. But when I show you something, it'll blow your mind. So what happens with this is this. Every SPAC, folks, okay, is issued at $10. And that's all there is in there is actually $10. That's how this works, okay? There's $10 in cash. See this share price, $10? Well, so now let's picture something. Let's picture we're doing a, sp a SPOC. We're doing a TFNN SPOC. So what happens is this. Everyone, let's say we all put our money in. Let's say we put 100 bucks in a piece, okay? So we all have 10 shares. Then TFNN is going to go look for a company to take over, to buy. So you have $10 at risk, right? And okay, then we find a company to buy. We, we, we find C CNBC. We buy CNBC, okay, for $10, okay? Well, they, they accept the bid. That's the bottom line. Now, that bid, when they're accepting it, we're not paying more than $10. That isn't how it works. You, that's, that's it, man. You, you, that's how this goes. And what has happened here, which is just a mind blower, okay, is that they, this stock has actually gone to $175 when it's only worth $10. That's, that's the worth of it. Now, let me show you something, okay? So watch this. I'm going to bring up. And the way we, uh, we don't know, I, I, I was hunting this this morning just to see about the aspect here, because I gotta show you this first, as to how many shares that they actually could sell. Um, and it doesn't say here, see what it says here, Saba Capital quickly sold its entire, oh, uh, uh, its entire stake of unrestricted stock in the blank check company, okay? They did that yesterday, right? So right now, I don't know exactly how much the unrestricted stock is but i can show you this and there everyone that is in this that are the big owners of it okay n i would say no doubt um are selling <laughs> and they just made a fortune man you can see it well a light lighthouse investment 3.2 million shares the rest of them all got like 2.4 million 2.4 million 2 million bottom line what a score man i mean and you know this will this will stay up for a while because I can see intraday out here. I mean it was trading pretty good really. <laughs> it it bounced to 175. It almost come back and filled the gap. The gap fill would have been uh, 50 bucks. It got to 67.96 and bottom line. What I want you to understand more than anything, it's worth ten dollars and that's it. <laughs> that's all. That's all she wrote. You know, and it's worth that until the. Um, they buy someone and that that whoever they buy can turn around and make money so and it's it's wild there's no doubt about it we're going to take a look at the uh let's go take a look at amazon because my take is amazon does want to go lower it's been holding up okay so we got it it's coming down today it's coming down 18 by 89 bucks today this is the consolidation man um and i suspect if we're actually going to get a correction uh at some point the it will get to the bottom of the consolidation, which is at uh, 2871. You're 500 bucks away from it right now. Um, and we'll see how that shakes out. You know, we, there's no doubt. You, you know, you, you pop higher, uh, but when we did pop higher on a weekly basis, the bottom line, you did it with a lot lighter volume. We had come down with uh, 25 million shares. We're going to be up with 12 million. That is saying that, hey, guess what, man? Not enough buyers versus sellers. eBay, let's go take a look at eBay and see if we get an ABC up. So I got to put this on a weekly because on a daily I can tell it's not because of the retracements. Yeah, the weekly it's not either. So what's going on? So what ha the definition of ABC structure on the way up, folks, on the way down, it can't do more than a 0.618 retracement of the last trend. And you can see that, you know, eBay was at 65, goes to 77, comes back to... 68 you know so uh that's some if i do the daily i believe it's going to be the same way oh i see it's probably already finished though because it's a small one 75 68 seven bucks yeah it's eight well there you go it, it did an abc up but it did it in one day it's 80 bucks so yes it, it, it absolutely did do it in one day if we take a look at this on a larger basis let's see what we got here so what about a five-year no not five. Oh, look at this 
Just think about this. eBay is on fire again. Holy cow, what a trip. Okay, so on a monthly basis, that's been a one-way rocket ship, that's for sure. Um, on a monthly basis, the, the volumes contract in a, in a, much, in a huge way. We did, uh, in the month of uh, September, October, November, what, what month? We were in October, uh, August. In August, uh, bottom line is that you did 170 million shares. You went over the high last month with 122 million shares, and we're only at 74 million shares right now. Uh, so what, you, what you're going to see there is that as, uh, any equity that, uh, as you're going higher, if you're going higher and you're contracting in volume, folks, okay, in, in, in a large way, and you can see on the monthly basis on eBay, we contracted our volume by 50%. That's, that's an equity that when it turns, it'll turn very quick and come down fast and furious. Let's go take a look at the copper market because what we had with copper, copper came down hard yesterday. Uh, we're at 450. My take is that copper wants to go over to the $5 mark. 489 is the high. We got to 482.30. We're back five and a half cents today. I think we're down 15 cents yesterday, man. Let's see, we went from, yeah, we did. We're down, down uh, 18 cents, actually. Okay, now see, here's the strength that's coming back into. So it's coming, needs 104,000 contracts on the way back down. And right now, you only have 87,000. So um, if you contract once again, this could end up being a, a really large ABC structure on the way up. And let's get over to silver. We take a look at silver. Silver finally caught a bid out here, as did gold. Uh, silver right now trading up 23 cents. You're at $24.40. This, had, uh, this has 78,000 contracts, which is great contract volume. Silver wants to make this run up to this 26.95, and right now you're at 24.40. So next week's going to be pretty cool, man. Uh, and it's going to be all about do rates go up, how fast they're going up, what is it all about? A lot of news events out here. There's no doubt about it. You know, um, the euro that's up 19 ticks. The uh, yen is down 57. Oh, let's put that yen. That's why gold's running too, man. Look at that yen. Hold it. So yen, yeah, yen, yen is down 57, 113. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 83. The Nasdaq's down 126. S&Ps are up four and a half. Our uh, guest today, folks, is Brandy Stark. Brandy is a professor at SPC, an artist and a paranormal investigator. What happened here, folks, is that one of our tigers out of New York decided that they wanted to hire her to figure out why the market never goes down. Only kidding, folks, okay? Brandy has been investigating paranormal experiences in St. Petersburg, Florida since 1997. Initially, she started Spirits of St. Pete as a hobby, but guess what? It grew into a group of uh, five folks that uh, have done dozens of investigations, and uh, guess what? We want, we're gonna find out what's going on. Brandy, welcome to TFNN. Thank you so much. So, Ooh, it's been a day. <laughs> I, yeah, so, I, it's been a day trying to get hooked up with us, right? It must be paranormal, man, right? So for, first, us, t tell, us, <laughs> tell, tell us exactly what paranormal means. Uh, paranormal uh, and supernatural kind of are somewhat interchangeable, but uh, we're dealing with what are called liminal state beings, so things that are in between worlds. Uh, and primarily, my group focuses obviously on ghosts or spirits. So okay. it's been fun. And so, talk to us about what you've discovered and how, and, and just exactly, you know, like, yeah, tell us what you've discovered and, and where the thought process is here. Paranormal investigation is kind of an interesting thing, and as a, an academic, um, formerly of SPC, I'm, I'm teaching part-time right now at State College Florida. But, oh, cool. Okay. Uh, it, it is it's a difficult line to walk because essentially paranormal investigation is still a pseudoscience. It's getting better, yeah. but it's really fueled by entertainment and television. Um, although there is, you know, a little bit more of the uh, engineering and the scientific that's looking into it. Um, but what I've really discovered throughout all of my years of both uh, academic and paranormal investigation is that ghosts, uh, basically the ghost story is from all space and all time, uh, back to the epic of Gilgamesh all the way up through today. And I really thought I'd only be doing this for about five years, and it turns out, you know, here I am, 24 years later, and we're still finding ghosts. So it's it's really exciting. But no, hey, listen, man. I I think anyone that has, you know, some kind of an open mind, there's certain things that happen that there are no doubt that it's like, okay, what is that all about? Uh, there's, there's there's no doubt about that. So let me ask you something. When you say between lives, so. Is it is it not necessarily your thought process, but a paranormal thought process that you have, um, like other people right here, like we have a life, like I'm looking right here, but but there's someone else that's right here. Is it, is it like a couple different worlds? Now that's going to depend on your belief system and your background, but um, the theory is that, uh, and I go with kind of the Joseph Campbell, even though he's kind of a pop uh, culture guy, but okay. uh, he talks about there's two realms, the natural down here and the supernatural here, yeah. and the local states are where the, the two connect. And what I found over the years is that invariably everybody has something strange that has happened to them that they can't explain. Uh, it usually does deal with family or death of some sort. Yeah. And something happening right after so that's kind of that liminal connection now if you're Buddhist yes uh, the idea is that all of these realms coexist including the realm of the hungry ghosts and okay so we're moving through ghosts all the time which is kind of fun that's wild because you know it's interesting what you just said there right like when death does come 
what I've found is this, is like, okay, so it seems to me that we're here alive, you have death here. You have to you have to have something so you're not scared the whole freaking time that okay I'm gonna die there's got to be something else if this is it right that, you know so that I, I can understand that that whole concept okay because guess what I think everyone would be running around saying oh no that's all we're gonna do is die right you know so <laughs> a bummer yeah exactly exactly so that would be there and like kind of what you just brought up um, whether it would be um, you know, people, even animals, I've done myself, you know, after someone was gone, I'm saying, oh, I think, I think they're there saying hi to me. And then yeah. even head wise, it might be my own head, but I'd say, oh, I feel better now. <laughs> right? That's right. Even Freud, I mean, if you go back to Mania et Melancholia, and my, my Latin's terrible, but if you go to Freud, he even talks about ghosts as projection of our own minds, that, that it's internalized grief that's kind of creating this. So. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that's where paranormal investigation gets to be interesting because we do try to correlate uh, history. So I've got historians, offsite historians that will try to do research. Yeah. I've got some folks that are sensitive. They're not exactly mediums, but they think they can pick up and sense what's going on. Yes. And then we have equipment. And uh, in the past year, we've started working with the SLS kinetic camera, which kind of was popularized, granted, by television. But um, it's given us a few interesting results and, um, you know, kind of working through any false positives. Uh, we're still experimenting a bit with it, but it's kind of neat when you can actually get that verification, and um, that's what I always love, yeah. Now, when you just mentioned Joseph Campbell, is that the guy that, like, this is a long time ago, hit the radio program? Uh, yes, and he was, he oh. used to travel, and he wrote uh, Hero with a Thousand Faces, so he came up with something called Monomyth which is the theory of the hero's journey. Uh, and that's kind of one of his big pushes out there. But he does talk about the natural and the supernatural worlds and the in-between states. And one of my degrees is actually in religious studies. So I've, I've got three masters and a PhD, believe it or not, uh, even with the blue hair, but I'm also an artist. So we're doing- The hair looks awesome, man. I mean, woman, yeah, it does. Works. I, I love that guy, Campbell. I, I've, I haven't listened to him a long time. And folks, I'm telling you, Google it. Uh, he has, the, the, his, um, the way he speaks is very self-empowering, I, mean, I think. I mean, And it's direct. Yeah. Um, I still use him for my classes as kind of an introduction to religious ideals. So, you know, when you start kind of looking at this idea of the two realms and then something in between, and, and we do find it culturally. Uh, you know, China has the yin and yang, the idea that these two connect uh, at the yin and yang lines. And, you know, I mean, you just, you find it everywhere. And it's really really very fascinating and admittedly i have to say you know once i pass on i i think i have a list of places that i'd like to go yeah <laughs> so, you know i, I want to check out rome again and some friends i'd like to visit just to say hey and then i guess we'll see what happens after that <laughs> so do you, do you figure are you going to try to program yourself before the fact yes i think i, I will Good try for to you. these ideas <laughs> We'll see if it works. Listen, I, I do that. I program myself every day, and I've done it for a long time. And I, I have programmed myself for exactly what you're talking about. And, and I know it's far out, but guess what, folks? It doesn't matter how far out it is. None of us know, so why not do it? <laughs> right? I mean, even Socrates said, you know, if you're dead and you simply sleep, then great. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's yeah. not bad to plan ahead, and then you have something called... Um, Pascal's wager, Pascal's wager, which basically says, you know, is it better to do it, uh, even if it might not exist? And the answer ultimately is is yes, because if it doesn't, it won't matter anyway. <laughs> I like, know. Oh. That's what's so cool about it, though, right? That's this is fun. Absolutely. And it is very unpredictable. Uh, there's no laboratory settings. We're not finding a lot of parapsychologists these days. Um, and academics are kind of slowly kind of starting to get into this. Uh, when I started, it was before the TV shows, uh, and I was a young uh, professor at the time, and uh, you know, I, I was teaching religion. Yeah. And I had students who saw me on an interview for one of our local news channels, and the next class period, they came in and they said, we know what religion you are, and I'm like, what's that? And they said, you're an occultist. Like, no. <laughs> I love I it. I work with the dead, I don't control them. That is so good. <laughs> well, listen, Brandy, this has been absolutely awesome. Really appreciate it. The website, folks, is the spiritsofstpete.com. You can check her out on uh, Facebook, Spirits of St. Pete. This has been a pleasure. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to having you on again. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 83. Nasdaq's down 123. S&Ps are up uh, down three and a half. And uh, let's look at this, man. This is going to be interesting with Netflix, man. You know, the, this market uh, in, in the NDX 100 is low. And Netflix, I believe, yeah, you got a monster ABC up, man. So here, your B point is 648. Your A point is 568 so what that's 32 plus uh oh, hold on, 84 84 94 104 114 118 holy cow that gives you uh 635 no 735 yeah <laughs> netflix got some action man <laughs> Uh, 735, man. Holy cow. You're up uh, 11 and a half right now. Yeah, 735 is the ABC structure on the way up. Pretty wild. So um, the rest of the market, folks, the, the, it, what's going to be interesting here, man, and this is, you know, yesterday I, see, I said see a couple of times I need an MRI because I'm a bear. Um, you know, you got the turn out here today, but like just what Netflix doing on ABC structure on the way up, you gotta, I gotta really got to watch it. Uh, you can see that the, you have a huge expansion of volume in the queues. You know, yesterday you, you made a high out here with 25 million, you're down with 33. I suspect that turn is here. We'll see how it uh, shakes out. Uh, you know, 
with some follow through. We are going to have a month, a slew of all the big tech numbers next week. Amazon, let's see, when's Amazon? Is it 25th? I think 28th. So ne next week's the week, man. Big tech week in a monster way. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Enjoy the fall, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Well, have a good time, man. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend. Safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy uh, Monday morning, folks. 9 o'clock kicks us off. Great show. Look at him, folks.